My name is Manu Prakash, and I'm a faculty in the Department of Bioengineering at Stanford University. So I'm a physicist by training, uh, and much of my lab focuses on two very broad themes. Uh, one half of my lab focuses on uh, physical biology, asking biological questions uh, with the context and insights from physics. And the other half of the lab uh, is focused on what I call frugal science, which is the idea of development and deployment of tools and technologies uh, to make the experience of science uh, more available to a broader group of people. I grew up in India, and one of the earliest things and memories that I have is just wandering around and being outdoors, exploring uh, the environment that I was in. I remember uh, we had moved into this small house and uh, the tenant before who was living there could not pay his bills, so he was kicked out. But he was a chemistry teacher and the landlord, instead of taking money, essentially uh, uh, took over his little lab in the basement in a garage. Me and my brother, I think we had this very strange walk in into this wonderland. We absolutely had no idea of what it was and I even remember some of those uh, chemicals. There was nitric acid, there was hydrochloric acid and for the next three or four years we actually spent a significant portion of our time in that lab. Uh, but that was the very first uh, what I would call my experience of science. And later on I think teachers came along who tried uh, to discipline some of the explorations uh, we were thinking about. Uh, but in the end, it really started at home. I remember, uh, you know, in an exam, we were supposed to know everything about microscopy and even draw microscopes, but I'd never actually seen a microscope, although we were supposed to label all the parts on this. So at some point of time, I decided to make my very first microscope. Uh, this was, uh, you know, maybe I was 10, 12 years old. And the first microscope was actually built out of cardboard boxes and cardboard tubes. You know, science is in the act of doing something. So, you know, whether it's pencil or paper or sitting on a microscope or on a sailboat in the ocean exploring uh, life forms that nobody might have actually seen before. Um, to me, the act of science is really the true inspiration. Most often I find myself wandering around uh, with even some very simple tools and over and over again I've realized uh, there is so much more that we still don't know. And I think that, that really drives me. And ironically when I was taught in schools, uh, I didn't have that feeling. Only after becoming a scientist did I realize that there is so much more we don't know. So that's quite exciting and it's a fun time to be a scientist.